Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. We gather this evening for evening prayer, and we'll use evening prayer one for Saturday in the 27th week of Ordinary Time. So, you may want to put your marker quickly on page 1081. That's the hymn we're going to do in just a few minutes, or in fact, in just less than a minute. So, let us begin. God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him King of glory now. Tis the Father's pleasure, we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty word. Humbled for a reason to receive a name from the lips of sinners unto whom he came. Faithfully he bore it, spotless to the last. Brought it back victorious when from death he passed. Bore it up triumphant with his human light through all ranks of creatures to the central height. To the throne of Godhead to the Father's breast, filled with the glory of that perfect rest. In your hearts enthrone him, there let him subdue all that is not holy, all that is not true. May your voice entreat him in temptation's hour. Let his will enfold you in its light and power. Brothers, this Lord Jesus shall return again with his Father's glory o'er the earth to reign. He is in God the Savior. He is Christ the Lord, ever to be worshipped, always blessed, adored. Pray for peace in Jerusalem. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the God's house, and now our feet are standing within the gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel, for Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There we set the thrones of judgment to the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in the palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you rose from the dead, Lord Jesus, you formed the church into your new body, and made of it the new Jerusalem, united in your spirit. Give us peace in our day. Make all nations come to you, church to, to your church, to share your gifts in fellowship, that they may render you thanks without end and come to your eternal city. Pray for peace of Jerusalem. From the morning watch until night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. From the morning watch until night I have waited trustingly for the Lord. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will come from, he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Listen with compassion to our prayers, Lord. The forgiveness of sins is yours. 
Do not look on the wrong we have done, but grant us your merciful kindness. From the morning watch until night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, he highly exalt, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father. Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. We, pose, we possess the prophetic message as something altogether reliable. Keep your attention closely fixed on it, as you would on a lamp shining in a dark place until the first streaks of dawn appear and the morning star rises in our hearts. First, you must understand this. There is no prophecy contained in Scripture which is a personal interpretation. Prophecy has never been put forth by man's willing, by man's willing it. It is rather that men impelled by the Holy Spirit have spoken under God's influence. From the rising of, its, of, of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens. May the name of the Lord be praised. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. A certain man held a banquet and invited many. When it was time for the banquet to begin, he sent his servants to call his guests. For now the feast was ready. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. For he has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children, forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A certain man held a banquet and invited many. When it was time for the banquet to begin, he sent his servants to call his guest. For now feast was ready. Alleluia. Everyone who waits for the Lord finds joy. Now we pray to him. Faithful witness, firstborn of the dead, you washed away our sins in your blood. Make us always remember your wonderful works. You called men to be heralds of your good news. Make them strong and faithful messengers of your kingdom. King of peace, send your spirit on the leaders of the world. Turn their eyes toward the poor and the suffering. Protect and defend those who are discriminated against because of race, color, class, language, or religion that they may be accorded the rights and dignity which are theirs.
May all who died in your love share in your happiness with Mary, our mother, and all your holy ones. And now we pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out your good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.